For some odd reason, Mattel has a very interesting relationship with Stone Cold Steve Austin and putting out his action figures. And in this video, we're going to discuss it. So something that's just very interesting throughout Mattel's history with Stone Cold Steve Austin action figures, man. We're going to dive into the entire lore here today and just kind of break everything down and just, I don't know, I just think it's a very interesting development because when you compare Stone Cold Steve Austin, I think if you were to ask anybody on the face of the planet that is a wrestling fan or who has at least watched wrestling in some capacity for a decent amount of time, they would probably tell you that Stone Cold Steve Austin is on their Mount Rushmore of talent. He is up there. He is up there in the top three goats, top five goats. A lot of people even have him as number one, and he's one of my personal favorites of all time. Probably top three, and he's not three. So when you talk about Stone Cold Steve Austin, and you talk about what he's given to wrestling, and talk about how popular he was, and how he basically won the Monday Night War for WWE, you can't really tell the story of professional wrestling without Stone Cold Steve Austin. It is absolutely impossible. And tying him into Vince McMahon and the Monday Night War and everything going on with it, man. And that's not really the crux of today's video, but it certainly matters. I want to get into all of it, man. So if you were to take Stone Cold Steve Austin, and you were to compare him to some of the other goats of wrestling or just some of the really popular names of wrestling and action figures, it doesn't work the same way for him when it comes to getting action figures from Mattel. But before we dive into all of that lore, I do want to just touch on some different topics and subjects of anything, man, but let's go ahead and get into it. Did you know that through Elite Series 1 through 100, or I guess Elite 107, there are zero mainline WWE Elite Series Stone Cold Steve Austin figures? And when I say that, I mean under the Stone Cold Steve Austin gimmick, not the Stunning Steve Austin. We do have two different Stunning Steve Austin's. We have one in Elite Series 81 and then one in Elite Series 100. But you guys will see it took 81 sets to even get a Steve Austin figure in the main line. When you look at the Stone Cold Steve Austin persona, there are no mainline elites. And sometimes that does happen, of course. There are some people that were not that aren't heavily featured. So all of the Stone Cold Steve Austin figures, you have them in the Legends line, the Monday Night Wars line, the Defining Moments, the 1 and the 2. You have the Royal Rumble Elite, the Ringside Exclusive, the WrestleMania 27 and WrestleMania 38 versions. You have the Attitude era elite you have the ghostbusters elite you have the hall of fame elite you have the flashback walmart exclusive you have the tnft target exclusive four pack you have the milko mania which obviously wasn't the main line you do have a main line ultimate edition but that's ultimate and not elites and then you have a ringmaster which was network spotlight toys r us exclusive but it's just very interesting to talk about how he the stone cold steve austin gimmick does not have a main line elite but i say all of this to say he's one of the most popular superstars of all time and we only have three elite action figures of stone cold steve austin in his jorts look, which is probably one of the main things you think of when you think of Stone Cold Steve Austin. You think of him in the black trunks, the black wrist tape, the black knee braces, right? Raising hell, stomping mud holes and fools. And then you think of him in his jorts with his knee braces, or at least I do. I mean, you may think of him in, in jeans or long pants, which is obviously, we, we've seen those as well. And we're going to get into that, but I just want to break it down. So we have three different elites in jorts. The first one is the Hall of Fame elite. Didn't even include a shirt. You had a sleeveless rubber what shirt and you had a Stone Cold Steve Austin vest, the entrance vest which I think was okay for the time. I think this was, what, 2014-ish, 2013, somewhere in there. It may have been 15. I want to say it was 2014 Hall of Fame Elite, though. The second version came in the Milko Mania Elite set, which was the Kurt Angle, Stephanie McMahon, and Stone Cold Steve Austin 3-pack. But this came with a cloth shirt, but it was the WCW Alliance shirt. So, yes, technically it was a Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt, but not really. It wasn't, you know, Austin 316 branded and, you know, skulls and whatnot. Not an official, like, one of those iconic Stone Cold Steve Austin shirts. I mean, it may be a iconic for other reasons, but you get what I'm saying. And then the third one we got was the Then Now Forever Together Target 4-pack Elite set, and it was when he battled with Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. It has, like, the Texas graphic on the back. It's got the Smoking Skull from Texas. It's got the Austin 316 shirt, which is a shirt we have seen so many damn times from Mattel. So, all I'm saying in this video is where the hell are the Jorts Elites for Stone Cold Steve Austin? And again, I know we just got the Then Now Forever Together Elite, but that doesn't necessarily count because it's not a flashback Austin. It's not one of his iconic looks that he's rocked over his career. Like, it's not one of those definitive Stone Cold Steve Austin figures. That figure also disappointed me in a lot of ways. We've discussed it on the channel, loose legs and different things like that, but I say all this to say that figure is pretty much just a repaint of the original, and it had double jointed arms, but it had black wrist tape arms anyway. Now, it does match the matchup that took place. He did have black wrist tape on there, but the only way you could really make it a flashback Austin using that current... I mean, you could swap the head with a different Austin, like an Ultimate Edition Austin head sculpt. You could, I guess, switch the arms and switch the shirt, but you, but you would have to have other parts and things to make that figure. What I'm saying is, is there's no definitive jorts throwback Austin from 2001 or 99 or 98 or any of these different things. Because the first Hall of Fame version didn't even come with a 
shirt. You'd have to pair it with other shirts, like I'm saying. Like The only way you could make a Flashback Austin in jorts is to have previously released 316 shirts. And I'm not getting into custom shirts and things of that nature. I'm strictly talking about things that we've gotten from Mattel. So, we have gotten that Austin 316 shirt a lot, actually, over the years. And they've gotten better and worse and whatnot. There's different versions of it, but it has pretty much been the same iconic shirt, which is his probably most iconic shirt. It just doesn't allow for a lot of variety. So, you have the Legends Austin Elite with the 316 shirt. I believe this is the first version of that 316 shirt that we saw. It was a Velcro on the back. It was a little bit roughly made. I want to say we got this figure in 2010 or 2011, so the age is definitely there. We have the Ultimate Edition with the 316 shirt with no smoking skull on the back. It's just the, the skull graphic on the back, which is a great shirt which you could put on an Austin Elite or that Jorts Elite and fix it up and whatnot, but you have to buy the Austin. I'm saying it doesn't come with the Jorts Austin. Then you have the Defining Moments with the 316 shirt, which got re-released in the Monday Night War set, but they did upgrade it. So he had the camo jacket, the 316 shirt, but it was pretty much the exact same way they did the shirt in the Legends line. But we do have it coming in the Monday Night Wars line. But a huge shout out to my man Alex West Collects, who also already has the Monday Night Wars Austin Elite. And it does have the smoking skull on the back. So it does change up a little bit. And there's no Velcro, which is nice. Still doesn't come in jorts, though. And then you have the KO Elite 101, the Kevin Owens Elite 101 with the Austin 316 shirt. But it has no back graphic. It's the updated shirt technology, but it does have Velcro. So it's, it's an updated version of 316 shirt, but it's oversized. And it doesn't have any graphics on the back. I know I'm rambling on about this. Just stick with me. But there are so many iconic looks of Stone Cold Steve Austin throughout the years in jorts with t-shirts of looks that I've been wanting for years. We've seen them in battle packs. Like, one of my favorite Austin attires with the red and orange skull graphic on the back from 2001, from the two-man power trip and around this era, around the invasion angle. They released it in a damn battle pack with Triple H, which is a fine figure, of course. It's fine. I don't think the shirt's all the way accurate. The font looks a bit off to me. But we've never gotten that in a cloth, shirt, elite figure form. And I just think if they were to make an elite Austin in jorts, you could redo it over and over again. You could put it in the top picks wave. You could put it in the Legends Greatest Hits and tweak a thing. And again, update that stuff. We have zero Austins in black shorts, which was a very common look for him throughout the late 90s. So we have zero in black shorts. We only have three in the regular jorts, which came with no shirts from like peak Austin or Rise to the Top Austin. 13 to 14 years of Mattel making WWE figures, and we have three Elite Austins in jorts. We do have some in pants. I think we have four different Elite Austins in pants. You have the Attitude Era Elite with the Stone Cold University shirt, which is a great figure. You have the WrestleMania Elite with the more modern shirt. I think it was WrestleMania 27 Stone Cold Steve Austin. You have the Defining Moments Austin with the 316 shirt. And then you have the re-released or the kind of the greatest hits version, quote unquote, in the Monday Night Wars line, which is the exact same figure, just tweaked a little bit. And then you have the Camo Pants version in the Ruthless Aggression Elite line, which isn't even accurate to the actual event. I digress. But again, man, no main line. Stone Cold Steve Austin figures. You only have the Elite 81 Stunning Steve and the Elite 100 Stunning Steve. Then you have all of those different lines that we talked about, the sub lines that have all these different Stone Cold Steve Austin figures in it, and we still don't have any of these iconic looks from Stone Cold Steve Austin's career. And I just thought, I just think it's nutty. I think that is insane, especially when you talk about John Cena, who they plug all the time. And obviously, John Cena being the peak, and I know they have kids that tune in and people that collect Cena and things of that nature. And so throughout the years of Mattel, they do want to put the most prominent superstars that are on TV at the time on the shelf. When it comes to these flashback elites that chime in every few waves, I know they like to get obscure characters and not everybody wants multiple Austins. It's just insane to think about a hundred sets or over a hundred sets of mainline elite series and there's zero Austin figures in the Stone Cold Steve Austin gimmick. And then you want to talk about the jorts being one of his most iconic looks. Countless shirts and long sleeves and jerseys and all these different things that are synonymous with Stone Cold Steve Austin and it just doesn't exist. And I'm pretty sure the Monday Night Wars Elite is the first one to actually come with a can and it's, you know, it doesn't have any brandishing on it. But it's the first elite of his from Mattel since the inception of them making WWE figures that he actually even has a can of anything accessory. It's just wild stuff, man. Wild times we live in. But I'm passionate about this project because I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. And when I, when I think of Stone Cold Steve Austin, I think of him in the jorts. That's what I think of. I think of him wrecking havoc, getting arrested, and raising hell, and stomping mud holes in people. And there's so many iconic looks that they've yet to give us. And you can, of course, grab different parts and make some fix-ups and different things and get some custom t-shirts in there and really fix up your collection. But I can't believe we still don't have some of these looks 
from Mattel officially. And I wanted to get on here and talk about it. But I would like to know down in the comment section below what you guys think. I mean, Roman Reigns is pumped out. Hulk Hogan's pumped out. John Cena is pumped out. Some of the most popular superstars now and some of the most popular superstars ever. And they have plenty of elites from different looks and obscure things. And we can't even get the most iconic looks. And you may say, oh, well, it's just a t-shirt change or it's not that big of a change or what else could they do for him and whatnot. But Roman Reigns literally changes his gauntlet color. Or Hulk Hogan... I don't even need to get started on Hulk Hogan, by God. And you'll probably say Hulk Hogan's more popular than Stone Cold Steve Austin, but how would we know we don't make the figures? A lot of Hulk Hogan's figures are very, very similar. And I have no, you know, I don't really trash the Hulk Hogan figures that they make because I know that people want them and they sell well. And they're toyetic figures. But you can't tell me a Stone Cold Steve Austin figure in the jorts, really nicely done with a cloth good shirt and a removable watch accessory. I've been begging for a Stone Cold Steve Austin return and take out the Alliance figure forever. I even made a custom graphic of it with the pool cue, removable watch, Austin 316 shirt. Just so many damn things they could do, man, but I wanted to get on here and discuss it a little bit. But before we get out of here, huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Wanted to get on here and just talk about this a little bit, and it made for a, I don't know, a good discussion top topic video, and I wanted to get on here and discuss it so you guys can let me know all of your, let me know all of your quarrels down in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you not care? Would you rather see more Austin figures or more Hogan's, or would you like to see them mix it up? Where Where's your stance? What do you guys think about this? Let me know all the things down in the comment section below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>